What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in the beautiful Central America, Panama. We're actually on a little island right now that's off of Panama and we are here for the next four days on my girlfriend Steph's sailboat, C'est La Vie. You guys will recognize the sailboat if you've seen my Bahamas videos from a few months back. I caught some massive bohemian lobster. I shot an African pompano. I shot a yellowtail grouper. Just some epic content off this sailboat from the Bahamas. This past month, they sailed this sailboat through the Panama Canal, and they're gonna be in Panama for about a month, and then they're gonna start their journey to cross the Pacific Ocean. If you guys wanna keep up with their channel, go ahead and search Freediver Steph in the YouTube search, and you'll see their entire adventure on their channel. But right now, the next three days, we're gonna be spearfishing. We're getting in a little bit late. We only have a couple hours of sunlight to go explore the shallow reef at our first anchorage. So you guys are gonna see that. Some cool dolphin footage. The dolphins are super social here in Panama. Um, so right now, we're gonna get on the dinghy and we're gonna go explore some shallow reef spearfishing. All right, so I lied. It's just gonna be Casey. Cole and myself going spearfishing because unfortunately Stephanie has to take a phone call. So she will join us tomorrow when we go back in the water to spearfish again. But before we, we're waiting on Cole right now, check this out. Look at our loaded up little dinghy here. All right. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. I, I should. You get in first? I think I got it. You got it. I like the shades over the wetsuit hood. It's very, uh, very classy. I love it. <laughs> Take the rope or leave the rope? Oh, we bring it. Alright, so as we're pushing off you guys, I want to take it back to earlier today. There was incredible footage of these dolphins just like riding at the bow of the boat and Finn, one of their little hot cake puppies from the Bahamas, I'm pretty sure he speaks dolphin as you guys can tell in this footage. There he is up there. See ya! Aww. Poor Steph. Stephanie wanted to come here so bad. She gets to do more than most, so. I just got this right here. It's an Insta360 camera and apparently I can just like stick it out and it will film 360 all the way around me. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot with the dolphins and see what kind of footage we can get. Well, the dolphins definitely just welcomed us to Panama. Sounds good. They're a little on this, I mean, not small. The old seal in 
Bastards! <laughs> the shaft the slip tip just must have or the slip tip the shaft must have just came down and the fish got off that's a beautiful first snapper or as they would call them here pargo sweet Tip shark? Yeah. He's cute. Uh -huh. He chased him out of the hole. Sick. Alright, so you can reload it. I was thinking maybe we move work that way. You wanna just chum, or you wanna the light is going to go this way and we chum, the chum will go with us. Yeah, you wanna just drift that way? What's that? You wanna just drift that way? Yeah, we'll just drift. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you almost got sliced by that gill plate. So quick. 
fish. So quick update for you guys. The sun just sat and Casey shot his first fish. Do you remember what it's called? Oh, uh, some kind of snapper. An all burrito. A burrito snapper. <laughs> An Amadio snapper. Um, he was just swimming around by himself down there, so that was a super epic first fish for Casey to shoot. We're about to board Say La Vie right now. Finn, our greeter, is greeting us at the boat. It wasn't as fishy as like, we thought it was. Uh, lots of little reef fish, rock fish. Um, I saw some nice pair of fish and some decent trigger fish. Unfortunately, I missed a trigger. I think you shot a trigger too, right? There's a trigger fish behind there somewhere. If you want to jump off the line. Oh my gosh, look you guys. I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can see the moon. The moon's up there right now. How beautiful. That trigger fish is back there. Ooh. Luckily Cole prepped us some tuna from this past week's catch. Um, Captain Daniel, who we're gonna be going out tomorrow with, has been slaying the elephant tuna. So we have some tuna for dinner tonight. He'll probably save the snapper and triggerfish for tomorrow. Maybe some lunch. That was a good first little, you know, get the limbs wet, the lungs wet. Oh Enough yeah. Traveling. All right, we're gonna clean up this dinghy. What kind of fish do you fly in Okeechobee though? We got them all bluegill and them specks. Bluegill speck. AKA crappie. Good job. So I will let you guys know that it is actually a little bit more difficult to fillet a fish that hasn't been sitting on ice because the meat is super fresh and mushy. So it's definitely a little bit more of a challenge. So you're doing a good job. Challenge. Literally. Dun dun. Pun not intended. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this light for you. You're doing too well. You're doing good. <laughs> Thought it had a magnet on it. Yes. Beautifully, very well done. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised. That's amazing. <laughs> good job. Why are you surprised? <laughs> Why are you surprised? Because <laughs> you a land boy. <laughs> land boy of many turkeys. No. Yeah. <laughs> it helps to have a sharp knife. Um, so another thing, when I actually first started filleting fish, I noticed that a lot of times the second half of the fish is a little bit more trickier to fillet because you already cut off that first fillet on the other side. So your fish will actually kind of bow a little bit. So you just gotta be careful not to stick that knife um, under those backbones. Nice. This snapper's gonna be so yummy. Yes. And trigger fish are amazing to eat. Look how dark these trigger fish are. Like the trigger fish down in South Florida are like a light, like a blue, like purpley color. Let me snap some photos. Um, these ones are like dark, dark brown. Pretty crazy. So the cool thing about trigger fish and why they call them trigger fish is you see this little trigger here? If anything was to eat them or if they were to get in danger, they could just deploy this trigger and you're not bending that trigger that way. See this little button right here? Boop. Boop, boop, boop. That deploys the trigger. There's Spanky. There you go. Nice. Beat it. Wait, do we want to keep the carcass for anything? Nope. I don't think so. All right, feed it to the sharks. Not many sharks here. <laughs> There was one little one. <laughs> That's also another uh, cool thing if you're doing a lot of spear fishing in Panama or Costa Rica, is there's really not a lot of sharks. We did see one little white tip reef shark swimming around after you shot this fish, which was kind of cute. Just get on off. Um, off. Let's see. Got new underwater lights. Ooh. Let us see. Different. Nice. They got some lights. It's gonna be cool to see if anything swims up. I did see an eagle ray in the water. Uh, we saw two turtles, three turtles actually, because I saw a turtle when we first jumped in. So three turtles, an eagle ray, a 
reef, a white tip reef shark. And I think that's it, other than fish. Look at those chompers though. You do not want to get bit by one of these. Look at that, hold up. Look at that. That might be a little thing. You know what they look like? They look like rabbit teeth. <laughs> it kind of looks like a rabbit. Can you imagine if one attacked you? <laughs> If oh. one come at you like, like people, a little piranha. People get bit by these all the time. That's not oh. math you want to stick a finger in. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I almost stuck my finger in there and I'm like, nope, fish the nerves, nope, not doing it. A lot of scuba divers get bit by by trigger fish because they're like on the bottom, like just kind of hanging out, scuba diving. And triggers are such curious fish, so they'll swim right up to you and start messing with you, pecking at you, and who knows what. Triggerfish will actually chase you down in the water. How that background though. <laughs> yeah, dude. Epic. We've been here for like kind of like a whole day. So we flew in and we landed to David, David, Panama around five o'clock. Um, we were picked up by Daniel's son, Daniel. So the captain that we're gonna be with on this trip, Daniel, um, the local that we're gonna be with, his son picked us up from the airport. Um, drove us to the beach. We got in a little panga and then we came over to the sailboat. Um, so we've been here for like a half a day and then like a full day today. So the scenery has just been absolutely beautiful. You guys have seen me clean triggerfish before. The one important thing about triggerfish cleaning one is you have to cut it from the inside out. If you don't, you're just gonna dull your knife and you're gonna have a terrible time. So there's a couple soft spots on a trigger. One's kind of like right here and the other one would be kind of like on the back right here. So you can start from any point, stick the tip of the knife in, boom, and then just trim it from the inside out. They're not the most fun fish to clean, and it takes a little bit of elbow grease. This one has row. Look at all that. Look at all that row in there. If you see that orange stuff. So she has a lot of eggs in there right now. Um, you probably can. I mean, I feel like any fish eggs you can really eat. Try it. If I don't puncture it, yeah, we can try it. Look, his little trigger was moving around until it's hitting that tendon. guys we are just getting started but this is going to be the end of today's video we just pulled the dinghy up onto this beautiful little beach right here finn is having the time of his life <laughs> he's like woohoo freedom but right now thanks for watching stay tuned for the next two videos of this panama series give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel be sure to check out freedive stuff on youtube and right now i will see you guys next time see ya